What's up, Poopers? This is Coach Joey, and today we're talking about foot and ankle care. So foot and ankle care, it's June. We got a little bit of time off. We want to take advantage of this month before it gets crazy again in July with AAU. Maybe we rolled our ankle. Maybe we want to do a little preventative maintenance so it stops happening, or we can at least fight right the potential of it happening again so four things that we can do barefoot walks pop the shoes off let the feet and ankles move the way they're supposed to right you can do some heel walks toes nice and high toe walks heels nice and high everted walks right that's basically on the outside edges of the feet and then inversion walks which is basically being on the arches of your feet getting the outside edges up and you can do all those for 10 to 15 yards forwards and backwards Second one, single leg balance and proprioception. We want to understand or feel where we are in space, right? So that can be lifting one leg up, looking to your left or right, slowly build that up to a minute. Maybe you do 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, two minutes. How long can you go without losing your balance? Can you go a long time? Okay. Close your eyes. Can you build that up to a minute? Can you build that up to two minutes while turning your head left and right? A third one would be basically getting into a nice single leg hinge dropping that chest down kind of looking like a t and then just following your hands left to right can you stay nice and balanced doing 30 seconds 45 seconds maybe even a minute there feel your foot and ankle move maybe you have a little bit of burning sensation in that foot and ankle that's good right we want all those little muscles to work together all those peroneal muscles and everything overcoming isometrics are great as well right three sets four to five reps 10 seconds each first one Dorsiflexion, right? Just basically using one foot as that immovable object and then the other foot to push or pull as hard as we can. First one, dorsiflexion, pulling the toes toward you, 10 seconds as hard as you can. And then eversion, pushing away from the body as hard as you can. Inversion, pushing towards the body as hard as you can. Those are great for just building general strength locally at the ankle. And then also doesn't cause any soreness, right? Last one, plyometrics, going from assisted to body weighted. So the goal here would be to build capacity. And we want capacity in the ankle joint because it's kind of the starting point of all movement on the court. So if it can handle more stress, that's better for us to stay away from injury and getting ankle injuries, right? Along with these other things like strength, proprioception, and then mobility. So starting with assisted, you can start with a box in front of you, front foot on top, back foot, nice and slow, right? Not too high, just being springy, working our way up, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, maybe even two minutes, a lot of reps. And then you can go more stiff leg landings, popping off the ground, heel nice and close, right? Trying to get up high. We can also do this laterally. So nice and slow laterally or fast laterally. Build that up over time as well. That might be more inversion and eversion, right? The other one is linear. Think about basically that first step below by, that negative step. We want stiff co-contraction basically in that ankle and foot. That way we can blow past that defender. So linear, forward and backwards. Then we work our way to body weight. That can be just a straight up and down single leg hop, or you can grab a plate. So you can grab a 25 pound plate, work your way up to 45. You can go on the outside edge of that plate, going off and on, working that up, you know, 10 reps, 20 reps, and then go inside foot, same thing, eversion, on and off the plate, right? 10, 20 reps. And then from there, you can grab two 25s or 45s. You can start in the middle, you can go off and on, off and on, where you're doing both at the same time. It's a little bit of a coordination drill as well. Rhythm, coordination. And then last one, right, you can have two plates and we can go linear to lateral on that single leg. So hopping on, across, on, across, right? Challenge that one, challenge the distance. So if you can go basically six inches apart, great. 12 inches apart, awesome. 18 inches apart, all right, now you mastered it. And that's perfect for linear, lateral, eversion, inversion. And that's taking literally everything and working it on that last row. So, Give those a try. Let us know if that builds up your ankle. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more springy. Maybe you don't have as many ankle sprains, right? Comment, share this, let us know. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.